Another key Republican priority is um, blocking Medicaid expansion because who would want poor people to have access to medicine? That's obviously not something we want. It's obviously a major national catastrophe. And in Virginia, this is a very, very, very relevant issue, obviously, because the last election was fought on this on this issue. Terry McAuliffe, Ken Cuccinelli taking Medicaid expansion funds was one of the key issues. And frankly, especially a Democrat like Terry McAuliffe, there's infinite number of reasons to not want to vote for that guy. But right there, that's why you would go out and vote, because taking those funds, not taking those funds is the difference between 400,000 Virginians getting health care or not. Doesn't get any more basic than that. But Republicans, which whatever else you want to say about them, they are a resourceful bunch. See, they realize that the Democrats basically controlled the Senate by one vote. And it was going to come down to one vote to get this bill passed. And what they did was they went to State Senator Philip P. Puckett of Virginia and they said, there's two options. There's option A, which is you vote for the Medicaid expansion. Terry McAuliffe signs it, and 400,000 Virginians will get health care. And uh, you'll do your basic duty, and you'll continue to be a state senator, and you'll have basic decency, honor, and self-respect. And there's track B, where you resign from the state senate, give it back to us. You get an awesome job at the state tobacco Commission and your daughter gets lined up for a judgeship, and just and just amazing, just unbelievable, unbelievable. unbelievable. Wow. This is like old swamp politics, and you and you have four hundred thousand Virginians won't get health care. And Philip Puckett looked at that choice with the soul of a Puckett, which apparently is a completely corroded and dead and maggot infested soul and he said i like that deal one to be one state tobacco commish possible judgeship for the daughter four hundred thousand people having health care my self-respect my dignity my basic decency going with option b Terry McAuliffe released the statement. He said, I'm deeply disappointed by the news and the uncertainty that it creates at a time when 400,000 Virginians are waiting for access to quality health care, especially those in southwest Virginia. The situation is unacceptable, and he's going to work uh, for a bipartisan compromise to deal with this. Uh, Puckett, at the time that I am reading this, has not responded to requests for comment. Unbelievable. Bring, uh, bring Puckett into the room. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Mr. Bucket, Mr. Bucket, come over here. Let me tell you something. We cannot expand the Medicaid for the people of Virginia. If we do, it will be no good. So listen here, Bison. We're gonna, we're gonna, we have an offer for you. You will resign. In return, we will provide you with a very nice job, and we will give you something for your daughter. We can help your daughter. We can help both of you. What is politics if not for your personal and familial benefit anyway? I wouldn't expect a job in the State Tobacco Commission from some poor slob getting Medicaid. Let's do this together. Come on, Senator Puckett. Let's make this happen. Now come over here and give me a kiss on the cheek. Uh, what have I ever done to disrespect you? <laughs> All I've ever offered you was the hand of friendship, and you insisted on helping those slobs with the Medicaid expansion. Between me and you, I know that you're not a huge fan of the black or the poor. Am I right? They disproportionately will benefit from the Medicaid, not to mention women, with the exception of your daughter. They can go to hell, right? And listen, the price is gonna come after you. You just don't say it. Just disappear. We'll help you disappear. You just say no comments. 